What if you could wake up every day to a reality where your money works for you, not the other way around? Where the sound of coins jingling in your pocket is replaced by the sweet melody of dividends landing in your account. Imagine a world where financial freedom is not just a concept, but a concrete experience. This is not a distant fantasy. It's a reachable goal. Just as different people have different definitions of what it means to retire comfortably, there are also various financial strategies to consider. Some people might opt for reverse mortgages, liquidating their assets, or relocating to a cheaper place. But there's another alternative that often gets ignored. Living on investment dividends. This is something that can help you earn $2,900 a month. Stay with us, because we're going to reveal three quick ways to achieve that objective. So, what's the secret sauce for figuring out your optimal investment amount? It all boils down to your preferred lifestyle and, of course, the numbers. Sure, the average person spends around $67,000 a year, but that might not be the right benchmark for you. You can customize based on your specific requirements, goals, and comfort level. Now let's spice things up a bit. Picture this. A life where your investments generate a steady income stream, allowing you to reap the rewards of your hard work without touching your principal. It's like having a hidden money tree that keeps growing and providing for you with passive dividends. The opportunities become irresistible. Remember, this journey is about finding the balance that matches your vision. So take some time to imagine your future. Visualize the kind of life you want to live and then let the numbers guide you towards the investment amount that will make dividends your gateway to financial freedom. In this video, we'll show you how to hit the target of $2,900 a month or $35,000 a year. But before that, let's understand what dividend is and how it works. Imagine you're a co-owner of a company by owning some of its stock. When that company makes a profit, they have options on what to do with it. They can use the profit to expand the company or share it with their owners. In the case of publicly traded companies, the owners are the shareholders. If a company decides to distribute some of its profit to shareholders, it's called dividends. As a shareholder, let's give a name, James would receive a slice of that profit based on how many shares he owns. Dividends can be given as cash, either through a digital deposit or a check, or they can be reinvested in more shares of the company's stock. Companies have different schedules for paying dividends, but many do it every quarter. Now, let's talk about dividend yield. This is a way to measure how much you're earning from dividends compared to the price of the stock. It can vary from company to company and even change for the same company over time. Generally, more established companies offer higher dividend yields than smaller, newer ones. Now to calculate dividend yield, it's quite simple. You take the annual dividends per share and divide it by the price per share. For example, if James's stock is priced at $100 per share and he receives $10 in dividends each year, his dividend yield would be 10%. By understanding dividend yield, James can assess his investment better. He can compare different stock prices and make wise choices based on his objectives and how much risk he's comfortable with. By investing in dividend-paying stocks, James has the chance to earn regular income without having to sell his shares. This means he can enjoy a consistent flow of money while still preserving his investment intact, which is pretty amazing. So, for James and anyone else who wants to earn passive income, dividends can be an appealing strategy to explore. It's a way to increase your wealth over time and live off the income produced by your investments. Now let's dive into covered call ETFs. Three simple strategies can help James achieve his goal of earning $2,900 per month or $35,000 per year through dividends. Strategy number one, covered call ETFs. One of the fastest ways to live off dividends is by investing in covered call ETFs. These special funds offer investors the chance to earn income from both stock appreciation and dividend payments. How does it work? Well, the ETF invests in stocks and also sells call options on those same stocks to generate extra income. Call options give the buyer the right, but not the obligation, to buy a stock at a specific price within a certain time frame. So when the ETF sells call options on the stocks in its portfolio, it receives premium income that is paid out as dividends. Furthermore, if the stock price rise is above the call option strike price, the ETF may realize capital gains because it'll have to sell those stocks. There are several popular covered call ETFs to consider, such as XYLD, Wilk, and EWZ. These funds offer attractive yields, often in the double digits, which are much higher than the yields in many traditional dividend stocks. The beauty of these ETFs lies in their ability to provide income from both dividends and option premiums, resulting in a more stable and reliable stream of passive income. However, 
It's important to understand that these ETFs come with some risks. For instance, options may expire worthless or the stock prices may drop, affecting the overall performance. Now let's apply this strategy to James's journey. If James aims to earn $2,900 per month, which equals $35,000 per year through covered call ETFs, we can adjust the numbers accordingly based on the current yield levels. James would need an investment ranging from approximately $280,000 to $310,000. That's quite tempting, isn't it? Especially when compared to traditional dividend stocks where you would need around $2 million invested to achieve the same level of income. By choosing covered call ETFs, James can reach his financial goal of earning $35,000 per year or $2,900 per month without needing a huge investment. This strategy offers a chance to generate a stable income stream while reducing the capital needed. So, if James is keen to pursue this path, he can explore covered call ETFs as a way to achieve his dreams of living off dividends and enjoying financial independence. Let's explore another way for James to earn $35,000 per year or $2,900 per month through dividends. This strategy involves investing in special companies called real estate investment trusts, or REITs for short. Strategy number two, high yield REITs. REITs are like groups that invest in real estate properties like malls, offices, and apartments. These groups make money from these properties and share some of it with people who invest in them. Historically, REITs have shown strong performance with an average annual return of 10.8% over the past 20 years. This means that investing in REITs can be a smart way for James to potentially increase his wealth while earning a stable income. It's important to know that the amount of money you get from REITs can fluctuate because it depends on how many people rent the properties and how the economy is doing. While REITs can give you more money than regular stocks, they can also be risky when the economy is not doing well. So, how much does James need to invest to earn $35,000 per year from REITs? If he expects to get around 10.8% each year, he would need to invest about $320,000. But this number can change depending on whether he chooses to put his money in different REITs or just one. A good way for James to retire with rights is to save and invest a certain amount of money every week and let the dividends accumulate until he reaches his goal. If he stays dedicated and patient, he could become financially independent in about five to seven years. When investing for dividends, it's important for James to have a plan. He needs to know how much money he needs and what he wants to achieve. This will help him choose the best rights for his portfolio and make sure he sticks to his plan over time. Everyone's situation is different. So James might find that he can live happily with less than $35,000 per year or he might need more if he has a family or certain lifestyle preferences. One great thing about rights is that unlike regular stocks, they often pay dividends every month. This makes them an even more appealing choice for people who want a steady income from the stock market. By considering the strategy of investing in rights, James can achieve his financial goals of earning $35,000 per year or $2,900 per month from dividends. It's a strategy that could make his dream of living off dividends a reality. So, if James is prepared to take a step toward financial independence, exploring the world of rights is a smart move. It's a strategy that has the potential to make his dreams come true. Strategy number three, dividend aristocrats. Dividend aristocrats are special stocks that belong to a group of companies in the S&P 500 index. These stocks have a unique record of increasing their dividend payments to shareholders for at least 25 years in a row. They're considered great options for people who want to earn income from their investments. Some of the top dividend aristocrats are 3M, Leggett and Platt, and Walgreens Boots Alliance. These corporations on average pay close to a 7% dividend yield, which is lower than covered call ETFs and rights, but they are very consistent in paying out those dividends. Dividend aristocrats are known for consistently raising dividends year after year. To be part of this group, a company must have increased its dividend payout for at least 25 consecutive years. Whether it's a good idea to invest in these stocks depends on your own goals, timeline, and how much risk you're comfortable with. The companies that make up the dividend aristocrats come from different industries, but they share some common traits. Apart from raising dividends regularly, they are well-established companies that have shown growth over time. They're usually big companies that are less likely to be bought out by other companies. They also tend to perform better during tough economic times, which helps them generate consistent profits. So, how much does James have to invest to meet his goal of $2,900 per month, considering a 7% dividend yield? 
James has to invest $500,000 to be completely independent, though it may be a huge investment compared to the traditional dividend stock, which would need an investment of $2 million. This is a fraction but with the same payout. A good idea for James is to spread his investments across multiple dividend aristocrats to reduce risk. By investing in dividend aristocrats, James has the potential to receive regular income from his investments. These stocks have a strong track record of increasing dividends, and their inclusion in the S&P 500 index adds credibility to their performance. Hope you found this video valuable. Kindly like, share, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more valuable content like this.